Thanks to pent-up demand and a strong U.S. dollar, Americans have flocked back to France during the spring and summer. France is once again on its way to being the world's number one destination with an estimated 75 million plus international visitors for 2022. U.S. travelers have been able to see and experience sites like in Paris, the Palace Museum, known as the Hôtel de la Marine, or in the French regions, the recently opened Cité Internationale de la Gastronomie et du Vin in Dijon, and the spectacular new replica of the underwater prehistoric cave known as Grotte Cosquer in Marseille. There is, of course, much more to come from openings to anniversaries and new experiences, which will provide Americans with fun and delicious new things to do and see in France in 2023. Let's begin with the Vallée de la Gastronomie, a new concept that invites visitors to explore four elite regions of the eastern half of France through an abundance of sensory journeys. This 385-mile path, which begins in Burgundy, Franche-Comté, will provide food and wine lovers with a delightful way to experience this gourmet trail from Dijon to Marseille. The route wends its way through the gastronomy and wine powerhouses of Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes and Provence's Rhône-Delta, ending in Occitanie's Gare County. The Vallée de la Gastronomie website offers travelers a wealth of suggestions on where to eat and taste wines, like the simple Bistro La Chaumière in Dole, Franche-Comté, to the restaurants of three Michelin star chef Anne-Sophie Pic in Valence. La Vallée also presents six itineraries that comb through these regions in distinctive and original ways. It's a perfect way to meet its people and its top artisans that are all dedicated to the French art de vivre and know-how. Visits include those to brewers of beer and whiskey, chocolate makers, olive oil or vinegar producers, or to better known producers of the famed Marseillais Sablé or the Calisson of Aix. The more adventurous can become a grape harvester for a day, or to burn off those calories, experience all of this through the Via Rona, a dedicated bike path along the scenic Rhone River. Now, let's talk rugby. The 2023 Rugby World Cup will be held in France from Friday, September 8th to Saturday, October 28th, 2023. During that period, 20 countries will compete in over 45 matches in 10 French cities and nine venues. The opening match will be very close to Paris in Saint-Denis at the impressive Stade de France. It should be a memorable and exciting one pitting the home team France against the formidable New Zealand. There are many reasons to visit or revisit these 10 host cities, but visiting them during the Rugby World Cup will provide sports fans and travelers alike with some extra oomph and joyous atmosphere. The other host cities are wine capital and ardent rugby city, Bordeaux, northern France's Lille, capital of French Flanders, Lyon, one of, if not the top gastronomic city of France, Mediterranean Marseille, France's second most ancient city with a contemporary twist, Creative Nantes, the Western Loire's former capital of the Dukes of Brittany, UNESCO World Heritage Site, Nice, capital of the Côte d'Azur, Saint-Étienne in the Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes region, and France's capital of design, and last but not least, the great rugby capital of Occitanie, Toulouse, also known as the Pink City. 2023 is also the year of some major anniversaries that will be celebrated and commemorated in France, several of which will resonate with American visitors. They will be the 100th anniversary of the death of Gustave Eiffel, the brilliant engineer who created and built France's iconic tower. He also built the frame to support Auguste Bartholdi's great statue, Liberty Enlightening the World, which towers in New York's harbor. Normandy's world-famous Mont Saint-Michel will celebrate 1,000 years. Construction of the Romanesque nave of the Mont Saint-Michel Abbey began in 1023. The life of Jean-Baptiste Poquelin, better known as Molière, will be celebrated on the 350th anniversary of his death. France will join Spain in remembering Pablo Picasso and his art. Picasso moved to France in 1904, spending the last 12 years of his life in Mougins on the Côte d'Azur, where he died in 1973. And last but not least, the 24 Hours of Le Mans will celebrate its 100th anniversary, having held its first race on May 26, 1923. 
24 Hour Lore includes Hollywood icon Paul Newman and his team placing second in 1979. The 91st edition will take place in Le Mans June 10th and 11th, 2023. There is also quite a bit of transportation news. Air France has highly contributed to the strong number of American visitors this summer, operating 20% more flights than in the summer of 2019, flying from 14 U.S. gateways, three of them seasonal. This winter, the national airline will operate year-round from 12 gateways, adding a return of the Newark to CDG route starting December 12, 2022. The French West Indies also have good news. JetBlue will resume non-stop flights to the Guadeloupe Islands from New York JFK on November 5th. It'll be just in time to experience the arrival of the Route du Rhum. The acclaimed international transatlantic sailing race leaves Saint-Malo, Brittany on November 6, arriving approximately two weeks later in Pointe-à-Pitre. JetBlue will operate three times weekly on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. The eco-friendly Isle of Flowers is also in the news. Martinique is up for its third UNESCO nod in three years. The first was in 2020 for the unique Yol sailboat, and last September, the entire island was declared a World Biosphere Reserve. Martinique will soon hear from the UNESCO Committee on its candidacy for Montpellier and the Piton of Northern Martinique. Let's now look ahead to 2024. Paris will be hosting the Summer Olympics from July 26 to August 11, followed by the Paralympic Games from August 28th to September 8th. 2024 will also be the 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings in Normandy. To prepare for this momentous event, the Normandy region will unveil in March of 2023 a new high-tech version of the Aromanche D-Day Museum, first built in 1954. Aromanche is the site of one of the two famed artificial harbors known as Mulberry, conceived and built by the British. Find out more on these topics and hotel news, exhibitions, and unexpected story ideas on our websites. Examples include how to live it up with a luxury chauffeur-driven adventure with companies such as French Side Travel. In the same vein, check out Monaco's world-renowned casinos, hotels, and restaurants. Spend the day at Galerie Lafayette flagship store, whether in its recently opened wellness galleries or at one of the eight tables de gourmet. Visit the village of Roissy for charm and a meal interlude during a layover at nearby Charles de Gaulle Airport. Day trip from Paris to the countryside to enjoy the home and estate of Impressionist painter Gustave Caillebotinière. For more information, visit our press and consumer websites.